Wanderers fans, we get to start 2016 with a bang because we're finishing 2015 at the top of the league and we're undefeated in nine games. I'm Sia Anthopoulos and welcome to this year's last edition of Bay 46. Today I'm here in the beautiful Prince Alfred Park in Parramatta where we'll be rewinding the clock and taking a look at the roller coaster of the year 2015 has been. Although we're sitting at the top of the table now, back in May things were very different. And it's important to not skip over this low patch because it highlights just how far we've come in a matter of months. There's no denying it, the 2014-15 A-League season was one to forget. It took us 16 matches to register our first win and we finished the season in ninth place on the ladder. Though despite a lacklustre A-League season, we showed some serious medal in our Asian Champions League campaign. It took a last gasp goal from SC Seoul to knock us out of the group stage on the final day. A day where we pulled off an impressive 2-0 win away at Guangzhou Evergrande. After an exhausting season, the club was in desperate need of a fresh start. And during the off season, we waved goodbye to a number of loyal servants and fan favourites. Perhaps the biggest losses were Socceroos pair Juric and Matthew Speranovic, who after starring in the Asian Cup, secured moves to Holland and China respectively. Together, these departures meant that Tony Popovic had plenty of spots to fill. After 12 rounds, it's fair to say that every single incoming player has gone above and beyond what was expected. From the local contingent, it's hard not to single out Mitch Nichols for praise. We all knew the quality the former Perth man had, but few would have expected Nichols to explode the way he has this season. He scored six goals so far, more than his last three seasons combined, including what is arguably the league's goal of the season so far. From the overseas contingent, much was made about the arrival of Marquis Federico Piervicari and Dario Vitezic. While both have shown their ability so far, it's three unknowns from Europe who have really made a difference. Not much was known about Andreu, Dimas and Alberto when the Wanderers announced their arrivals, but the classy Spanish trio have been a cut above. They've all settled into the league's rhythm seamlessly, and after Alberto's goal against Newcastle, it's worth noting that all three have now managed to find the net for the Wanderers. Speaking of finding the net, Mark Bridge has been on another planet this season, scoring five goals in his last five starts. My favourite of the five has to be this length of the field effort against Melbourne Victory. That game was by far our biggest result of the year and I think it officially announced us as the ones to beat this season. On New Year's Day we take on Adelaide United and how things have changed since we last played them. That night, a last gasp Andreu goal earned us a draw at Cooper Stadium and it meant that we'd be entering week three with only a single point. We'd have to wait another two weeks for our first win against Newcastle, but as football would have it, we haven't been defeated since. If we do manage to get the win against Adelaide, it'll be another strong indicator of just how much our team has grown in the last few months. So be sure to get down to Wonderland on New Year's Day. A 7.40 p.m. kickoff means you have plenty of time to round up the energy and get our Wanderers another win. Have a happy new year everyone, here's to an exciting and memorable 2016 and hopefully a shiny new addition to our Wanderers Trophy Cabinet.